What's going on guys? Today we're gonna add N64 games to the PSP, so let's just jump right into it. So we're gonna connect our PSP to our computer and drag our window over here. And in the description, I'm gonna have two links. I'm gonna have one of mine, and the other is gonna be a link to the official GitHub page for the developer of Dedulous 64. Just for the tutorial purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and download it from mine. And it's pretty small download, shouldn't take too long. So I'm gonna save it in my PSP folder on my desktop before transferring to the system. Gotta wait till it's finished downloading before we close it. So open my PSP folder and it'll be in the zip file. You're gonna right click and if you have WinRAR installed, just go to extract to and then the name of the folder. Go into it, go into it again, and when you see these, these are all the files for the emulator. Go back, and you can right click here on this folder, click copy, and this is going to go into our PSP folder, and then into the game folder. So go ahead and right click and click paste. So now that you see it is done right here, I'm bringing my ROMs over from another folder and we're gonna put these games inside. So go ahead and click on the Dedulous folder. Inside you'll see a folder named ROMs. Go ahead and get the games that you want to copy over. And paste them into the ROMs folder. Alright, so once they're copied over, go ahead and close the windows. And then back to our PSP. We're going to go under game, make sure you're not in save utility but in memory stick as usual. And there we go. So when the emulator loads up, you are going to see the ROMs that you put in there and you're going to see that it has a cover art photo. Now that's only for the more popular games like Mario 64, Smash Bros and the ones you see here. Right here you'll see that I'm running on a PSP 3000 and here I'm playing Mario 64. Now this is probably one, uh, one of the only games that runs almost perfectly with no issues. As you can see the animation is very smooth but there is no audio on it. The emulator comes defaulted to audio off so if you want to turn it on you can turn on the audio but it'll sound staggery, it won't be perfect. That is because it takes a lot of resources to emulate on the PSP, the N64. But the emulator is currently still being worked on. There was recently an update, I think as soon as March, and before that was years ago. So with a little bit more work, I wouldn't be surprised if this emulator working and adding support for more and more games as time goes on. So you can see here it runs fine but look what happens when I press the L button on a normal that's now that's normal because on an N64 that's how it is but I won't be able to Z jump so we're gonna go ahead and go into the 
advanced options, I think it is. And nope. Oh, there you go. Controller. And so I'm going to change it to default Z plus L swap. Click save and return. And resume emulation. Now watch this. Since L is a unpopular button in most games, I think I think this is a reason they suggested uh, to add this sort of controller change. So smooth gameplay. Just no audio. Let me show you guys a save state real quick. So save states pretty much freeze the game where it's at in the point of time to create a save state. And then let's say you progress a little bit in the game and you want to go back exactly to where you created your save state. You can just go back to where you created the save state and start over from there. So here I'm going to try another ROM, and this one particularly you'll see that I, this is one that I know plays well, but doesn't display right. So I'm going to go ahead and load it for us real quick here. Mario Party. Again, no audio on it, but you can see it plays very smoothly here on the menu and on the character selection and map selection screen. But let me go ahead and skim through this and you guys will see what I'm talking about. Does anybody play more than 20 turns on Mario Party? Um, I've almost always have just played 20 turns. Look at the map right here, you see? It's not the screen being dirty either. As you can see, it's like checkerboarded. With like the map in the wrong spaces. As you can see, it still plays well. Here I'm just going through the startup process and when they see who is first. Where is the star? I'm sure you guys can see out on the camera the small slowdowns in between Mario steps. But anyways guys, that's the N64 emulator for the PSP. Feel free to check out one of my other videos right here. Leave the video suggestions down below and give that subscribe button a push. Until the next one.